I'm gonna address two things. Don't think I didn't hear you guys when you told me you love the Wish video and that you want more of that, okay? I heard that. And I, uh, uh, I'm gonna act on that. <laughs> Best believe it. And also, they're not rice mods. I didn't do it like to be rice. I did it for the sake of the video. I thought it was gonna be cool. It was a fun video for me. I had fun making it, and I know you guys had fun watching. It cost me 15 bucks to do three mods to the cards. Like, why wouldn't I do it for the sake of the video? So, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, four, four or five months ago, I bought three things. I bought yellow headlight tint or gold headlight tint. I bought a Momo shift knob, and I bought fake little tiny carbon fiber canards. Uh, total cost me 15 bucks for all three of them. We put them on the car about a month ago and I told you guys I would check in with you guys and let you know how it is. How they all stood up, if they worked, if they flew off on the highway. You know, when you spend 15 bucks, the more you spend, the more you... You get what you pay for, is what I'm trying to say. So, it, yeah, it's a little sketchy. So if you haven't seen that video, I recommend you go back, watch it as like a prerequisite to this video. I'm just gonna take you guys outside. We're gonna check everything out and see how it looks. So we're gonna start with the shift knob, just cause that's where we're starting. This little guy has held up way better than I thought. To be honest with you guys, I thought this was gonna be the one thing that just died. If you didn't watch that other video yet, see these little set screws in here? Those little guys screw onto the little rubber bushing in there. And that's just basically how it's held on. If you pulled really hard, you could probably pop it off. And then this just goes up and covers up those set screws, right? And I didn't notice when I ordered it that that's how it was gonna work, otherwise I would've got a reverse lockout cover, but that's besides the point. The knob is here, and I've driven with it for about a month now, and it, it hasn't moved, it hasn't popped off, it hasn't spun. Like, like it's, it's still there and it still works perfect. My issue with it is just that it's lightweight, and I don't really like that. I don't I don't like the feeling of driving with the lightweight knob. You feel everything, it feels a lot more notch, you feel, I don't know, you, you guys, if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. But I like the height, so I'm thinking I wanna get a weighted tall one. And that's exactly what I was telling you guys Wish is good for, getting a product to test it if you want it or not. Second thing we're gonna look at is the canards. When we were installing these, if you remember when we were putting them on, Emerson actually leaned on one of them while we were doing the headlight tint, right? I believe it was this bottom one. Whatever. Should I put this in here that we already broke it? So in the process of doing the headlights, Emerson put his big fat knees on this and the 3M tape, that's not actually 3M tape, literally just popped right off. Right off the hop, I was like, these are gonna suck. These are not gonna last. They're just gonna keep falling off. And believe it or not, they've, uh, they've not. And I, I've, I, I've drove this car in, you know, rain, it's been sitting in the sun. I've driven it pretty quick. <laughs> Nothing's knocked it off. And I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. And I, you know, I think the one that looks like it's coming off the most is actually the one that we may have knocked off at the shop while doing this and put our own double-sided tape on. And my biggest fear was that the tape was, you know, cheap knockoff tape, which it, it, it was. It just said M instead of 3M. So you know it wasn't real, but I mean, it did its job. They, they did well, and I should have had the big part in the front. I understand that this should have gone on the other side. Those ones should have gone on this side. That's my mistake. We didn't know any better. Now we do. Last but not least, my favorite one, actually, out of the three of these. It's the only one that's kind of degraded, though. It's it's the only one that took a little bit of a beating. So this was entirely our fault. We didn't know how to do it properly. And I, I admitted that right as we were installing it. We should have used soapy water. We should have taken the headlight out million things we should have done, but we didn't. It's not like it cost me much, and the point is, now I know when I look at the car, I'm like, damn dude, I like the yellow tint. It may be worth actually paying somebody or paying again for the tint and having it installed properly because I I, I love the look. Just because we pooch the install doesn't mean that, you know, it, it should get any lesser of a rating because it still looks fire. You can still see some bubbles. A lot of bubbles came out in the sunlight. So there's a bubble here, and then there's like a couple little wrinkles like this guy, do you see that? I don't know if you can see it in the camera. There's a wrinkle there. I don't know, this top piece is starting to come out just a little bit. This is the worst headlight. So that one's just popping just a tiny bit. This side's actually pretty good. Um, there's again a little bit of bubbling right here, but other than that, I mean the headlights, they, they lasted, but definitely the most botched out of all of it. And as far as weathering, none of that stuff's really weathered yet. I would imagine over the next couple months it may weather a bit, just because of you know the lower price tag. But as of right now, it's all mint, which just stuns me. I, I like, it just makes me, it, it, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just did not believe that I could order stuff for so cheap and have it work so well. The actual, how did the products last and like, should you buy them? I mean, yeah, I would buy them. I would highly recommend it to you. Not because it's cheap, not because it's rice, but like I said, it's a good decision-making process. So I want yellow headlights, but you know, 
what if it costs you 30, 40 bucks? I don't know what it costs to tint a light. Even if it's $20 to tint one light. Okay, cool. Go on Wish, buy a tint for two bucks, throw it on. Do you like the look? Yes, now pay your $20 because then you don't waste as much money if you don't like it. And that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. If you guys have not subscribed, wait before you leave. Go down there, subscribe, so you don't miss any more awesome content coming your way because there is so many things coming for the BRZ 240 and things that I'm not, things that I'm still working on, like I told you. If you guys enjoyed this video though, make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. Let me know that you enjoyed it. I will catch you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Stay committed.